yo, one of those times where the code just doesn't work. You keep saying to AI, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And you keep going around in circles. Obviously this is annoying, but what's even more annoying is burning through your credits and waiting on that famous message to top up your cursor account or anything else you're using like Bolt or Lovable. After this, you're gonna have a go-to method and prompt to hopefully cut through this and help you keep pushing on with progress. Honestly, I think I've been in that loop 30, maybe 50 times once just going round and round in circles. But yeah, let's jump in. So let's say I've got this project here and let's say there's a problem on this dashboard. So one of the reasons you're in this debugging nightmare is A, you maybe don't understand what's going wrong, which is obviously not ideal, but you can't understand everything, especially if you're newer to AI development. The second option is that your AI doesn't understand what's going on properly. So here's how we're going to solve that. So we're going to say, we're going to use a prompt a bit like this and I'll paste this in the description. We have an issue on X page. I need to debug. Please lay out exactly how this code works and all the connecting pieces. Show the code snippets. Think step by step. And this is a key part. It makes the AI go a bit more systematically in the way it thinks and make this super clear so that we can debug. So let's command enter here. So it's gonna have our whole code base in context. And then it's gonna spell out what's going on here. So this is gonna do a couple of things. Firstly, it's gonna force the AI internally to this tool, understand context, which may help it debug or fix whatever you were trying to fix. But the second and more valuable thing in my opinion is actually allowing us to take this context and get a fresh pair of eyes on it. So taking it to Claude or O1 or DeepSeek to go through, look at the code and be able to point out what the issue may be. And I've had really good success in doing this. So what we can do, is as you can see here, it's broken down the different pieces, different components, and then we can bring it into Claude. We can say, hey, I'm gonna drop in some code. Again, think step by step. We can paste it in the context, and then it's gonna be able to have a look through that and notice any issues. Again, I don't actually have a bug on this page, I don't think. So yeah, just as an example, but yeah, a few potential areas for issues. <laughs> so yeah, give this method a try next time you're stuck in a debugging nightmare. So there's a bunch of other ways that you can go about debugging. Of course, I can't go through every one in this quick video. And if you want another Cursor quick tip, have a look at my video about cloning GitHub repos with Cursor Composer. It's a game changer. You can clone repos and run them in seconds. And also drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm new to this YouTube game, so it does help us out. All the best.